Hello everyone, and welcome to a game called Puppy, which is about a totally normal, regular, standard puppy. Never mind the shadow, don't mind, there are no tentacles involved with this puppy. <laughs> and please forgive the background, I was trying to figure out a way to make sure that you all could see everything in the game. Hopefully this works for y'all. Enjoy. Well, hello there, little guy. Eleanor had stopped at a cardboard box on the street as she walked home to her apartment. In the box was a small dog, and scrawled untidily on the front of the box were the words, Adopt me. The dog cocked its head as she slowly reached a hand toward it. Look at the little puppy! Look at the puppy! Look at the puppy! Look at the puppy! It's okay, buddy. I'm not gonna hurt you. Eleanor scratched around its neck as she subtly felt around for a collar and found none. The dog looked too good for a complete stray. The dog's fur was soft and fluffy, and its tail loudly thumped, thumped, thumped against the box it was in as she scratched it. Oh, you like that, do you? Well, then have some more. Eleanor reached out her other hand and scratched on both sides of the puppy's face and around its head. The dog's tail happily wagged, and it started trying to lick her hands before jumping out of the box into her arms. Oh! <laughs> Caught off guard and losing her balance from the hunkered down position she was in, she fell backward and was unable to stop the puppy from licking her face as she tried to pick herself up. What an adorable bean! <laughs> hey, hey, cut that out, you little rascal! Eleanor laughed as she tried to fight off the little fluff monster and its cold nose and wet tongue attacks. Finally righting herself, she set the puppy back in the box he had jumped out of. Aren't you just the sweetest little guy? She looked around to see if there was someone around looking for the puppy. And there's no way a little guy as well-groomed and friendly as this was just dumped here, right? The street was empty. It was latish, but it had only started getting dark. Eleanor watched as the streetlights clicked on, one by one, from the far end of the street to the other. She pulled her jacket closer to her as a cold breeze blew past. Looking into the box, the puppy had obviously felt the same cold wind and curled itself up into a ball and quietly started to whimper. Oh, he cold. Oh, are you cold, little guy? You were so full of life a second ago. Poor thing. Well, with no tag or collar and nobody around looking for him, the chances of the little pup spending the night shivering on the streets were looking pretty high. But Eleanor wasn't about to let that happen. Well, I can't very well let you leave you out here in the cold, so why don't I take you home with me, and then we can put up posters or something just in case someone really is missing you. And a sweet little thing like you, who wouldn't want you around? The puppy looked up at her happily, its tail once again thump thump thumping off the cardboard it was sitting on. Oh, look at you, puppy! <laughs> Come on, let's take you home. Eleanor bent down to pick up the puppy, and as she lifted it, the streetlight above them flickered out. <laughs> huh, she said, looking up at the now dark light. Guess that one needs a replacement bulb. All the more reason to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All the more reason to get you home then. She spoke to the puppy as she tugged it into her jacket and held on to it. Tuck, tucked it. <laughs> tuck, tuck. Just pull it slowly down the jacket. The light flickered back on as she started to walk away and continued to flicker behind them as they left it behind. Oh, this is starting out so adorably. Eleanor didn't live very far away, which was lucky, because by the time she reached the door, her dog holding arm was starting to ache from the extra weight of the puppy. Whew. Carrying you around is a lot more work than I was expecting. Eleanor spoke to the puppy as she sat down in front of her door. Now don't run away on me. I just have to find my keys. She rummaged around in her jacket pockets for the key to her ground floor apartment while watching the small dog sniff around her feet and the door. He do a little sniff with his snomfer. She watched the dog happily sniffing her boots as she reached for the keys to the door to unlock it. The key went in easily enough, but once she went to turn it, she felt something brush against her hand. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Eleanor instinctively pulled her hand back and her keys fell to the ground along with the creature that touched her. Oh, it's just a spider. Fucking hell, scare the shit out of me. Aren't you a big one, though? That's gotta be at least an inch across. Let me take a pic to send a poppy. An inch across, that's it? <laughs> Eleanor, actually, that, that would be pretty big. Depending on where you live, that's a pretty heckin' chonker of a spider. Eh, kinda. Well, it depends. If it's the body, that's an inch. That's one thing. If it's just, like, the leg span, that's an inch. That's not really the thing. 
Eleanor reached into her pocket to get her phone out while keeping an eye on the spider. As it scurried around, the spider caught the attention of the puppy, who watched it closely before jumping on it and catching it under its paw. Whoa, with reflexes like that, if being a dog doesn't work out for you, you could always try being a cat. VTubers. <laughs> now let the poor thing go. Eleanor cut the sentence short with a gasp as the puppy proceeded to eat the spider. Oh my gosh, she did a nom nom nom. Dude, that's nasty. The puppy looked up at her proudly, like it had stopped some vicious assailant from harming its new master. Oh, very protective puppy. Okay, I can't stay mad at that little face. It's still gross, but you did well. Good job protecting me. She pets the puppy on the head. And I hope you will always protect me. The puppy let out a sharp bark as if to agree. Anyway, let's get you inside, and before you go running around, we're going to give you a bath. You look clean enough, but I did just pick you off the street, and the last thing I need is you bringing fleas or something in. Yeah, no, 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 we need to de-flee, de-flee the puppy, de-flee the puppy. <laughs> she, she looks like such a lovable dork. I love her already. <laughs> it was early when Eleanor awoke. She wouldn't usually get up so early since her work shift started later in the day, but she needed to visit the pet shop before work since she didn't have much in the way of food and things. Pet shop time. The things I do for you. She sighed, handing the puppy another piece of ham. <laughs> She's just feeding the puppy ham. Look at him. Look at his cute little face. After all, we can't just have you living off leftover ham as much as you seem to enjoy it. The puppy let out a yip as if you... As if you agree. As if... As if... I think that means... I think that's supposed to be as if to agree. The puppy agrees with us. <laughs> Glancing at her watch, she got up and grabbed her coat. The puppy started to whine sadly as it knew she was leaving. Oh, don't worry, little guy. I'm gonna go to the pet shop and come back. It's not too far, so I should have plenty of time before I have to go to work. The puppy let out an understanding yip as she ruffled the hair on its head. This puppy is very, uh, perceptive <laughs> so far. <laughs> The puppy knows what's up. We got a we got IQ 1000 puppy. Eleanor was greeted at the door by the neighbor's cat, Miss Marmalade. Hello there, kitty cat. Marmalade sat in front of the door expectantly. Sorry, Marm. I'm under strict orders not to be offering you any extra food ever since you got your big butt stuck in the cat flap. <laughs> Philip says you've been going door to door begging for scraps after she goes to work. Marmalade started to meow in protest. Uh-oh. Eleanor felt something bump into the back of her leg as the puppy came to see what was going on. Seeing the dog, Marmalade jumped onto four legs and arched her back, hissing loudly at the dog. Um no, Marm, it's just a little puppy. No need to get all worked up. She could hear the puppy happily panting behind her and added, See? It's friendly. Eleanor reached down to try and calm the cat as it swiped at her, catching the back of her hand. Oh no. Son of a... She felt the sting, and looking at the back of her hand, saw a few droplets of blood start to form at the edges of the scratch. The puppy started to growl at the cat, and then with a few barks, the cat took the hint and ran away. Ah, shit, that stings, but it doesn't look too deep. That doesn't- you need to disinfect that shit immediately. <laughs> you get bit or str- you get, you, like, you get, like, scratched by a cat? You need to disinfect that shit. Come on, Eleanor. Eleanor turned to the puppy, who was still growling in the direction the cat ran off to. Don't worry, little buddy, I'm fine. See, it's just a scratch, she said, showing the puppy her hand. The puppy started to lick the blood off the back of her hand before she pulled her hand back. Hey, cut that out, you little scamp. Wiping the saliva on the back of her trousers, she stood up. She's, she's, she's gonna be wiping blood off on her pants. <laughs> anyway, I better be off while I still have time. You be good while I'm gone. The puppy barked happily in response, and she left. Go into the store. Going to the store. It wasn't long before Eleanor got back with a shopping bag full of things. She had to push past the excited puppy who was trying to jump on her while she tried to enter the apartment. All right, all right. Can you at least let me come in first? The dog barked excitedly. Do we have we named it yet? I don't think we've named it yet. After finally closing the door, Eleanor turned into her apartment with horror. W what have you done? The puppy redecorated the entire apartment from top to bottom to fit f to fit <laughs> good feng shui. <laughs> no, there were little brown footprints leaving little trails back and forth across the apartment floor. She took a look at the puppy, who now sported four little brown dirt-covered legs. The puppy looked up at her happily, seemingly unaware of the mess it had made. 
She went around and examined the damages. Luckily, it seemed that apart from the floor and the cushion she had laid down for the puppy as an impromptu doggy bed the night before, everything was still clean. Everything else, anyway. Okay, maybe it's not too bad, she mumbled, half expecting the whole house to be covered in mud. She walked out the back door into the garden to see the mounds of dirt the puppy had obviously been digging through. Out the back door. How did the puppy get out of the door? Wait, did we, like, leave that open, or is there a puppy door? Uh, it was a small garden, fenced off, so it wasn't a huge deal if the puppy had been playing out there. And she didn't really go into the garden much, so even the digging itself didn't bother her too much, if not for all the muddy footprints. How did you even get out of here? Get out here. I need to make sure I lock the door when I'm leaving. <laughs> There's no other question other than that. Just, just a how, but like, I would be more concerned than, I don't know, maybe I'm just like assuming every small, cute, fluffy thing is either a demon in disguise or some eldritch being or has some sort of power. <laughs> She pulled out a small animal paddling pool that had been propped up in the side of the shed for as long as she had lived there, and she ran a hose into it, filling it up. All right, you. I really don't care if you're playing out here, but I can't have you tracking mud all through the house. She spoke sternly, picking up the puppy before plopping it into the shallow pool. The puppy started to excitedly play with the pool water, while Eleanor focused the hose on spraying the remaining dirt off its legs. She went inside and grabbed a towel before lifting the puppy out of the pool and drying off as much water as possible. I noticed sometimes we refer to the puppy as it, and then I think we used to refer to the puppy as he, but either way, we still don't have a name for them. <laughs> the puppy shook his body to get rid of whatever remained. Leading the puppy back inside, Eleanor turned the key in the door, locking it behind her. She then went back to her shopping and pulled out a little bowl and a can of dog food before filling the bowl and setting it out. Oh yeah, we got wet food for the puppo. Yay! Here you go. Eat this and stay out of trouble while I mop the floor. After fi she finished mopping, she grabbed a dog cushion and replaced the dirty cushion and threw a handful of toys on the floor next to it. Sorry, I don't have time to play with you much now because I spent all that time cleaning it and now I have to go to work. She spoke apologetically as she left to the puppy who is now rolling around the floor with one of the toys she had brought, happily squeaking away. Oh. What an adorable little bean! By the time Eleanor returned home, it was already starting to get dark. She opened the door, praying that there wasn't going to be another repeat of this morning. I'm home! She called out, but was surprised to not receive a response. Uh-oh. That's strange. The apartment was eerily quiet, and after removing her coat, she reached over to turn on the light and spotted the puppy. The puppy was lying on the floor with its legs in the air and its head under the sofa, sleeping soundly. Oh, we got a little fake out. <laughs> and onto the puppy with its legs in the air, a dead, decapitated corpse. <laughs> its toys were spread around the floor, but looking under the sofa, Eleanor could see that there was just that there was a ball just out of the puppy's reach. Oh, the poor little guy must have fallen asleep while trying to get the ball. Hey there, little buddy. She spoke softly, gently rubbing its belly. Rub, rub, rub. The puppy stirred, wiggling itself upright and removing its head from under the sofa. Aww. Then, realizing that Eleanor was back, it excitedly started to bark and lick and jump all over her. <laughs> Calm down there. She rubbed the dog all over. Seems like you had a fun day. Why don't we take you for a short walk before I make myself dinner? I'm sure being cooped up in here all day wasn't great. Always take your puppies for a walk. After fitting the excited animal into a cute little harness and attaching the lead, they left the apartment. <laughs> Who's saying this? <laughs> this could be read multiple ways. It could be... <clears throat> hello, dear. Or it could be... Oh, hello, dear. Or it could just be a hello, dear. <laughs> Eleanor jumped a little at the unexpected voice behind her. She turned to- <gasps> It's an old lady voice! <laughs> I was right! I was- I was almost- I was- I, it was one of my- it was one of my guesses. She turned around to face the old lady who lived a few apartments down from her. Oh, uh, hi Phyllis, what's up? Have you seen Miss Marmalade? I haven't seen her all day, and it's not like her to be home- to not be home in time for dinner, you know? Oh, I saw her this morning. She came looking for food as usual, but ran off when she saw this little guy. 
She got me good before she left. Eleanor glanced at the back of her hand. It still itched from where she had been scratched. I didn't realize she had a thing about dogs since she's normally so chill. The only <laughs> the only request I would have for like this I, I I'm enjoying the story so far, but having an indicator for who's speaking in the story would be helpful, just in case to, to remove any sense of ambiguity. Phyllis frowned. Hmm, normally she's so fine with dogs. Maybe you caught her in a bad mood. Maybe. Anyway, I do hope she's okay. I'll let you know if I see her around. Please do. Phyllis replied with a worried expression and left Eleanor and the puppy standing outside the apartment. Okay, let's go for that walk, pup. The puppy let out an excited bark and they headed off into the evening. Aww. Time for a walk and a bark. Time to play with the puppy. Eleanor walked down the street with the puppy in tow. It seemed like it was missing, like it was, <laughs> wow, <laughs> words. It seemed like its mission was to sniff every single spot it passed, leaving Eleanor playing hot potato with which hand was holding the lead. I <laughs> That sounds about right. Can you just pick a side and stick to it? We will come back this way, so you can just check out the other side of the path too. The puppy ignored her pleas and continued its mission. Every so often, the spot would take an extra long sniff, followed by it marking the spot. I wonder if this lady has as much trouble with her two dogs as I do with you. Eleanor remarked, spotting a woman with two large dogs in front of her. Why don't you stay over this side until they pass? You never know how other people's dogs are. The puppy happily wagged its tail as the other dogs came closer. However, as soon as they saw the puppy, their body language changed. Suddenly, the lady's arm was tucked forward as she struggled to hold the dogs back as they snarled and barked at the puppy. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Eleanor exclaimed, reflexively snatching the puppy up out of the reach of the other dogs. No! No! Bad! Stop! The lady struggled to control her dogs. I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! She apologized, obviously flustered. Eleanor quickly walked away with the puppy in her arms, glancing behind her to see the lady dragging the dogs who were still riled up in the opposite direction. I swear, people shouldn't have dogs if they can't control them, Eleanor spoke loudly to herself. That's an accident waiting to happen. How are you holding up, though? Hopefully it wasn't too stressful facing those big scary dogs. The puppy just quietly watched the dogs over her shoulder until they turned a corner. Aww, the puppy's just misunderstood by everyone. <laughs> by all of the other animals. Aww. It wasn't long before they arrived at an open grassy area, and after making sure the coast was clear, Eleanor let the puppy off the leash to run around. You go have fun, and hopefully, tire yourself out. Eleanor's phone went off as she watched the puppy running around in circles. Are we still on for tonight? Oh shit. In the excitement of getting a new puppy, she had forgotten that she had made plans with a guy she started seeing recently. <laughs> I'm gonna be straight with you, I totally forgot about tonight. But I got a good excuse. <laughs> oh really? Do tell. Eleanor raised her camera and took a picture of the puppy rolling around in the grass in front of her. I picked up a stray dog. Mmm, I'm more of a cat person myself. It's okay, all animal lovers are good in my book. But I feel bad about blowing you off. Would you like to come over to mine instead? I've been told I make a mean... Oh, <laughs> that's when she interrupted her own sentence. <laughs> then remembering the lack of proper ingredients in her kitchen at the moment, she added... Takeaway order. How could I say no to that? I'll bring some wine then. Just send me the address and I'll be there around eight ish. Eleanor quickly tallied up the time it would take to get home and get ready and decided that it was just about enough time. Sounds like a plan. Alright, puppy, we gotta bounce. I gotta clean myself up before he gets here, you know, just in case. Eleanor winked at the puppy who remained oblivious to its meaning. Wait, what? What does that mean? Oh, wait. <laughs> but she looks fantastic. I think she looks adorable. Come on. Eleanor and the puppy walked home briskly, with only a few sniff and mark breaks along the way. Upon arriving home and removing the harness, the puppy ran to the back door and started scratching to be let out. You know, you could have just gone while we were out, right? Okay. I tell you what, she spoke looking at her watch. You play out here for a while. I'm going to go take a shower and get ready. Eleanor grabbed a ball from the floor and after opening the door, threw it into the yard. The puppy chased after it and started playing around with the ball. Alright, you have fun. Eleanor closed the door and left the dog to play. 
puppy puppy playtime, puppy puppy playtime. Eleanor's phone buzzed as she finished drying her hair with a hairdryer. I'm on my way over now. See you in about 20 minutes. Perfect. Eleanor looked, her looked at herself in the mirror. You look as good as you're going to at this point. I think she looks great. <laughs> she couldn't help but get excited at the prospect of having him over. They had gotten along well on their last few dates, and she definitely felt a spark between them. As she walked through the house doing one last bit of tidying, she heard a yip and some scratching at the back door. Oh, you want back in? Eleanor popped the door open the door, and the puppy wandered in, leaving little wet footprints on the kitchen floor. Wait, why are your feet wet? Were you playing in the pool? Eleanor peeked out into the yard to see if the pool was still where she left it. But it had already gotten dark, so it was hard to make out anything in the yard. I really need to get that backlight fixed. She sighed as she flicked the switch, and nothing happened. Anyway, come here and I'll dry you off. Last thing I need is you leaving wet patches everywhere. Eleanor grabbed a towel from the laundry basket and dried up the puppy, who really seemed to enjoy the attention. Oh, uh, he should be here soon. How do I look? The puppy gave an approving bark. The puppy... <sighs> puppy has good taste. Thanks, now you be a good puppy, okay? The puppy gave another approving bark. I'm sure our puppy will be on their best behavior. <laughs> David, hi, come in. Eleanor invited the young man in. He had arrived exactly in time, although after a few drinks, admitted that he had waited awkwardly outside for five minutes so he wouldn't seem too eager. So this is the cause of the change of plans. David pet the puppy behind the ears. No, I know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Not that I'm complaining. I've been told she orders a mean takeout. He said loudly enough for Eleanor to hear. Speaking of, we better order soon. I'm starving. Eleanor laughed, pulling out her phone and ordering from her favorite local place. Eleanor and David spent the evening eating food, drinking the wine, and swapping stories. After a few hours and the last drops of wine had been drunk, David spoke up. Well, that's the last of the wine. I guess that's my cue. He leaned in for a goodbye kiss and Eleanor grabbed him playfully by the tie. <laughs> this sounds like a fanfic. <laughs> this is very fanfic -y to me. <laughs> What's the rush? I haven't even given you the tour. Well, I wouldn't want to miss that. David smiled as Eleanor led him to the bedroom, followed closely by the puppy who had awoken to the movement. Aw, you were doing a little sweep. A moment later, Eleanor returned to the hallway with the puppy in her hands. Nope, you're not invited to this particular party, I'm afraid. Don't wait up. She winked at the puppy and closed the door behind her. <gasps> it's puppy time. Puppy P-O-V. The puppy lay down in front of the door and quietly listened to the muffled voices in the room. Oh no, puppy. Puppy, close your ears. Puppy. <laughs> puppy, close your ears. <laughs> wait, what? Ah, gross. Eleanor woke, awoke to the feel of wet paws on her face. <laughs> Do, I like the transition with the glasses. That was actually, that's actually really neat to show her putting on her glasses. Dude, why are your feet wet? She lifted the puppy off her face and looked around. A beam of light streamed in through the gap in her curtains, and she winced when it caught her eye as she moved. Still feeling a slight dull thud in her head from the night's wine, she grabbed her phone. It was already 11 a.m., and there was no sign of David who had spent the night. She wandered around the house, looking for him. But he was gone. Did he leave already? It is pretty late, so maybe he had things to do? He could have said bye, though. Eleanor spoke her thoughts aloud to the puppy she was still carrying around. Ah, is that why your feet are so wet? She exclaimed, noticing that David had left the toilet seat up. <laughs> right on my face. Dude, that's so gross. She set the puppy down and washed her face. The puppy sat nearby, unaware that he could possibly be the cause of the fuss Eleanor was making. After getting washed up and dressed, Eleanor went to the kitchen to get some coffee, but realized they were out of milk. Oh, imagine if he turned up right now with some coffee and a donut. Eleanor spoke wistfully as she checked her phone for messages. <laughs> She's fanfic shipping herself. <laughs> Not even a message to say you were heading out, huh? Eleanor clicked her tongue before deciding to give him the benefit of the doubt. Hey, David, I had fun last night, though I didn't hear you head out in the morning. Let me know when we can meet up again. Alright, well, now that I put the idea in my head, I really want that donut. 
Eleanor grabbed the puppy's harness and dangled it in front of a now very excited puppy. <gasps> puppy wants a donut too. Whoa, this is an adorable puppy. <laughs> Eleanor yawned as they walked along the street to the coffee shop. <sighs> she was mostly running on autopilot until a piece of paper was pushed into her hands. Hmm? She looked confused and started to process what the person was saying. Lost. Please call me if you see them around. Eleanor blinked a few times as her eyes tried to focus on the paper. It was a lost dog poster with two dogs on it. Wait a second, Eleanor thought. I know these dogs. They were the two dogs that had barked at her and the puppy before. She looked up at the person who had handed her the poster and it was the same lady from before. They got out of the garden, and somehow last night, I and I hadn't seen them since. The lady pleaded. Please, if you see them around, just call me. My number is on the poster. I I do hope you'll find them, Eleanor replied, putting the paper in her pocket, and started to leave as the women moved on to another passerby. They were pretty aggressive dogs, though, so I hope they don't hurt anyone, Eleanor thought to herself as she continued down the street. It was already dark when Eleanor checked her messages for the umpteenth time. Still no response from David. Nothing at all, man. He's even left the messages I sent this morning unread. What a dick. Eleanor grumbled to herself as the puppy curled up on her lap. They had gotten so well up until this point. Then they finally... Uh, was that it? Got what he wanted and then got lost. Never would have put you down as the kind of guy who would ghost. Eleanor sighed and grabbed her jacket, and the puppy excitedly wagged its tail. Sorry, pup. Just want to take a walk by myself this time. Clear my head and all that. Aw, oh, puppy's gonna be sad. Eleanor grumbled to herself as she walked up the street. These things happen. Not everything works out. People aren't always what they first seem, she told herself. It didn't help. She was still annoyed. She started to kick a small round pebble down the empty street as she walked. As she tried to kick it slightly further with each kick, she could feel herself calming down. Listen, if you're pissed or upset, sometimes a good walk outside is good to clear your head, truly. Nearing the end of the street, she looked towards the open gate to the park. There wasn't anyone around, so she took a few steps back. She was aiming for a goal with the stone that had been with her the whole journey. That's okay, that actually takes some skills because like at some point, especially if you're by a street, it's gonna land in the street. <laughs> That's some RNG right there. Good RNG. She ran towards the rock and threw her strongest kick. She missed and as her leg flew up in front of her, the other leg unprepared for the force followed suit. Eleanor landed unceremoniously on her back. She tried to throw her hands behind her to stop the fall, but they didn't help. It's gonna be the pup. Oh, I thought the puppy was gonna save us for a moment. <laughs> like it had gotten out somehow. Eleanor sat on the ground for a minute before she burst out laughing. Suddenly, compared to lying in the street after a failed stone kick, her other problems seemed like less of a big deal. The hell with him. There'll be others, Eleanor told herself as she picked herself up off the ground. Ouch. Her palms stung as she rubbed the dirt and bits of stone off them. She had scraped them pretty well, but nothing a bit of disinfectant wouldn't sort out. Yes, like the disinfectant you should have immediately rubbed into the cat scratch. <laughs> it wasn't long before she was back home in a much better mood than she left. Puppy! Oh, <gasps> there! Oh, hey there, puppy. Eleanor went to ruffle its fur, but it started sniffing at her hands and whining sadly. Don't worry, little bubby. Bubby, bubby. <laughs> bubby! Just had a little tumble. I'm a bit clumsy sometimes, she said reassuringly. She went to wash the remaining dirt and tiny stones out of her hands and applied the disinfectant. She winced as it stung her hands. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest, she said looking at the puppy who still seemed to be sad that she had hurt herself. Eleanor yawned. It was getting late. I'll be right as rain after a good night's sleep, she said petting the puppy as it curled up into its bed. Aw, oh, so she did get a puppy bed for it rather than just a cushion. <laughs> Eleanor awoke in the morning with the feeling of something sitting on her. She blinked a few times to focus her eyes. It was the puppy, of course. Good morning, little guy. I need to remember to close my door when I'm going to bed. Can't have you making a habit of this, she chuckled. Okay, let's go. I have to get up for work. 
She asked the puppy to move, but it didn't budge. Actually, it wasn't moving at all. Unlike its usual playful self, the puppy just sat on her chest and stared at her. You're freaking me out a little here, Eleanor laughed nervously. She tried to shift her body over enough to make the puppy jump down, but found it hard to move at all. Instead, it seemed like the puppy was getting heavier. Okay, puppy, that's enough. Get down. Eleanor spoke firmly. <laughs> the puppy doesn't want to grab the puppy's face. <laughs> oh my god, wait, we didn't teach the speak command. <laughs> no, I have to decide on a voice. Um. I can't do that, Eleanor. <laughs> oh shit. We get custom, we get new art too. Eleanor's eyes widened. Did you just... The puppy simply stared back at her. Did she imagine the voice? It didn't look like its mouth moved, so how could it speak? <laughs> what are you saying, Eleanor? It's a freaking dog. That's why it can't be speaking. Her thoughts started to rush. Eleanor again tried to wiggle free, but the weight increased, seemingly pinning her under her own blanket. Get off! Eleanor shouted. <clears throat> I can't do that, Eleanor. The voice replied again. What's going on? Am I dreaming? Is this a sleep paralysis thing? I, that, you know, that, that could very well be. You are not dreaming. What is going on? She asked, her voice shaking. I am going to protect you. P protect me? Like I protected you from the orange one and the two loud ones. The orange one? Loud ones? Eleanor was confused. Wait, does it mean Marm and those dogs that went missing? And the one that hurt you at night. Hurt me at night? What does that mean? You won't need to scream again. What do you mean? No. No way, that wasn't... Wait, what did you do? The puppy simply stared at her. What did you do? I protected you. They will never hurt you now. Oh. Eleanor thought back to the missing animals and David's disappearance. Oh, God. Suddenly his not responding made sense. Oh, please note, what did you do with David? The puppy didn't respond but turned its head toward the window that faced the garden. She thought back to the dirty footprints, the wet paws after she showed the puppy how to wash the dirt off. Wait! After she showed, <laughs> so this this is implying the the writing's a little a slightly bit awkward here, but the implication is that we is that the puppy learned from that experience. The horror she felt continued to grow. And you. The puppy's head snapped back to face her. It seems you still need to be protected. Protected from what? From yourself. She thought back to the night when she had fallen, her scratched palms, but that was just... Eleanor started to explain. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Oh my god! <laughs> Eleanor watched in horror as the creature started to shift and change, part of its body twisting and turning in ungodly ways. She heard the creaks and snaps of the creature's bones as it reformed itself from the puppy she knew to the creature that now sat upon her. Tendrils extended from various parts of the creature's body and pinned her down, wrapping around her body. And I've learned from the others that I failed to protect. Others? <laughs> what did it mean by others? Eleanor thought to herself, her mouth unable to speak the words. Did it do this to others before her? I have learned a human's greatest enemy is themselves. It wasn't until a cold, slimy tendril pushed its way into her mouth and grasped onto her tongue that she understood what it meant. There was no escape now. She couldn't move. Couldn't scream. Couldn't even bite her own tongue. Oh, this... <laughs> like... Oh, that was it! <laughs> okay! <laughs> I... It... Ended right there. I... Okay. Well, that's a lot to take in very quickly. I don't know if the puppy's actually been just... Well, because here's the thing. The puppy was obviously, um... This being 
was set out somehow in a box. So does that mean that its original uh, Protect E had essentially just passed away? There's a lot of potential questions here. <laughs> And those are all kind of just suddenly thrust upon you, but I'll leave you to make up your own mind on the story. It gets a little heavy toward the end, but thank you for watching regardless, and I still enjoyed this story. <laughs> I think it could be cleaned up a little bit in terms of the actual structure, the dialogue, um, some of the grammar, um, making sure that you know who exactly the speaker is during conversations and things like that, and maybe a little bit of stylization, but I, I think it's good for what it is. and. I still love the puppy, even if, even if the ways that he wants to protect people are, are not quite, um, respectful. <laughs> Have a great night, everyone. I love you all so much. Again, thank you for sticking with me and, um, just being around for all this as I slowly figure out how I'm doing content and things and showing, you know, figuring out what I'm going to be playing and how to play it and all that, all that fun stuff. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a great night. Great spoopy month to you all. Uh. <laughs>